Hey there, today we're going to make a printable uh, reward chart in Canva that you can sell on Etsy or on your own website. If you go to Etsy and you search for, get rid of that, uh, printable toddler reward chart, you know, you get a lot of different um, results, you know, a lot of variations of different ways you can make a reward chart and when I use Allura which is a tool I use to search for you know possible files to create um, I bring up you know quite a few different results that you know are making just you know a couple hundred dollars a month just off of uh, reward charts so it's a pretty uh, a pretty good niche and you can you know dig deep on it you can uh, do uh, you know specialized different themes you know unicorns rainbows um, cars and trucks dinosaurs whatever and you can make a variety of these printable charts and uh, you know make a, a decent amount of money off of them so we're just going to make a real simple one in Canva today. So let's go over to Canva. All right. And on my homepage, I have the flyer uh, portrait right there. And that's what we're going to use. If you don't see that one, you can go up here to create design and you might see it in there in your drop down. If not, you can create a custom size, which would be we're going to go inches. And these are 8.5 by 11, just your standard, you know, letter size. So we're going to go in here and you can make these, you know, however you want. Uh, I'm going to make a real basic one here today. All right. So first thing we're going to do is I'm going to go to elements and I think I'm going to do, um, Let's do a princess. All right, and we're going to go into graphics and we are going to look for free. All right. So let's look and see what we've got here. We've got some really cute things. Um, let's take this little princess and I'm going to put her up there. And this is going to be a real, real basic um, chart, but you know you can make it however you want. But I'm just going to do something really simple so we can see what we're doing. I'm going to put this little castle down here, so that way, you know, the princess she does all her chores or uses the potty and we're going to have her start up here and work her way down to her castle all right now i'm going to go back over here to my elements and i'm gonna search for let's say a brush stroke And again, we're doing free. Let's just look in here. We're looking for like a roundish one. I like this one, this pink. And we don't want it. Let's make that just about an inch. All right. And let's see how we're going to do this. Let's duplicate that. Let's move these over. I want to make this 30 days. So we've got six there. I'm going to space evenly. Let's tidy it up so it is All right, and let's, you know what, let's group those together. Nope, let's ungroup those right now. 
Let's change the colors. I'm going to go with a light pink and I'm going to change the color on every other one. All right. We're going to keep the pink. And that's our first six. And let's duplicate that and move it down. And that's 12, 18, 24, and 30. Okay, so we have 30 of our little. Now let's unselect, let's deselect this little uh, castle. So now all we have here are our circles, and we are going to. Move that around a little. Like I said, you can do this however you want. I am just, and I think what I'm going to do here is you know, I'm going to put some text in. I'm going to put reward chart. Put that up here, and I may. You can even make these so they're custom, you know, they're customizable. They can write the, their child's name on it. And then down at the bottom, I'm going to put your reward. Move that down here. And let's do a line. Oops, back to elements first. Let's do a line. I'm going to zoom in on this quick so I can see that line a little better. It's just a, a little crayon line. And you can leave it just like that. You can do whatever you want. But this is just a real basic uh, reward chart with 30 days on it. And they can put little star stickers. They can do check marks. They can do uh, whatever they want. And you can design these however you want. Um, let's do another. on a. Let's do one for cars all right we still have our free our free elements over here let's pick a couple cars or let's take a car put that up the top here and let's do can we use this can let's flip that horizontal so the no let's get rid of that um how about game board game board path let's see what we come up with here can we do something with this and you're not limited to um the elements in canva you know you can bring in your own elements um, i am just trying to do something real basic and real quick for you so you get an idea of you know what you can do i'm not really seeing anything in here i like so we're gonna go back out of here go back to cars we can pick a couple more how about a garage for the ending of our reward? There's a cute little garage. You can put that down in this corner, or you, know, you can, like I said, you can put it wherever you want. And again, how about paint splat this time? Let's find. Here we go. This kind of looks like an oil, 
oil spill, I guess I'd say. And let's use let's use some yellow. And again, we're going to take this down smaller. And I think I'm going to make that a little darker. Let's duplicate that. Let's go over here. A little bit smaller, about one inch. That way they are. And duplicate. Duplicate. And again, we have six here now. Let's center them okay they are already tidied up but I don't know all right let's change the color on a couple of them so they are different Alrighty. now we will duplicate that and I think on this one I am going to invert the colors change them up on every other line okay so now let's duplicate that and then we have one more row Do it like this. We can bring the last two down here if you want. Or the last three. No, not that one. Yes, that one. We just have to move these over. I talk to myself a lot when I'm in Canva. I'm sure you've noticed this now. And let's make sure these are. lined up with the appropriate we want to make sure we have the same distance oops I accidentally held control instead of shift when I was selecting all them I'm going to make them just a little bit tinier let's move these three over just a hair all right and now you have little car reward chart done let's group them and again you can add some extra text let's make this little car a little bit smaller i'm actually going to turn him on an angle like he's going uphill and our garage we can move around a little all right and Again, we'll go with some text, but this time I'm going to change the font. Do we move it up here? Make it a little bigger. You see, these are so simple. Um, choose this one. These are so simple to make, and they only take a few minutes, and you could make so many different. Uh, themes and designs for this you know you could have a ton of different reward charts in your shop and i'm going to zoom in again just so i can see better down here at the bottom your reward and we're going to add a line Elements fine and let's go with a different line. Let's just do this one, bring that down, make it wider, and now there is another reward chart completed. Um like I said, these were, are just super basic ideas. You can 
you know, change these up. You can put uh, background designs on it. You can do so many different things with them, but you get the idea. You can make a ton of different uh, themes and just pop them up on your Etsy shop or in your uh, personal website store and just sell the reward charts. And, you know, they are you know, pretty popular on uh, Etsy. So you can, you know, do so many different things with them. You can get so many different ideas uh, how you'd like to do them. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Um, and I will see you next time.